Hey guys, Dave the Software Dev here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about loading a uh, modal dialog dynamically using uh, jQuery uh, and Bootstrap dialogs. Uh, I'm just going to dive into it here. The first thing I want to show you is I've got a little style. Uh, usually I'd put this in a CSS file, but I just dropped it in HTML here for simplicity. Uh, it's a loader class. And it sets the background image to uh, an image of Ajax loader uh, dot uh, gif with no repeat, centering the background and with a, a height of 100 pixels. Now let me show you what that Ajax loader gif is. If you go to ajaxload.info, it's a site I'm not uh, affiliated at all with, but I, I really like and I use. They have here where you can sort of create your own little uh, you know loader file. You would just pick one and you would choose a background color or a transparent color uh, enter some HTML for a foreground color and hit generate and then you get an image of your little loader. I've found that I use that quite a bit and uh, and that's what I'm using here. I've just got an Ajax loader uh, file going. So this is sort of like to be used as a, an in-between class while uh, my modal is loading um, data. So down here in the actual body of my page, I've got a, a fluid container uh, with a, a fluid row, and I've got a div that's just set to uh, a list. Now we're going to drop in there dynamically the results from a, a post to the server. Secondly, I've got here uh, a div written up to actually be my modal dialog. And this is, it's got a, a header which just says edit record, it has a blank body. I'll show you what we'll be doing that with that later. And it's got a, uh, a footer with just a close and a save button. So I'm going to start here with, uh, with some JavaScript uh, utilizing jQuery, where we're going to actually make some of this do some things. OK, so I've got some JavaScript written in here. And as you can see, we, the very first thing that we do is for our list div, we add the class loader, and that's the one that uh, I showed you a little earlier that's got that loading uh, image in the background. And then we call the dot load function in jQuery for that list. So what that's going to do is that's going to send out a get request to the URL that we've supplied, which is list.php. And in the response, um, we're just going to basically clear out that, uh, we're going to remove that, uh, that loader class from the response and then the load function will drop in the HTML that's returned by this list.php file. So let's take a look at list.php. I've got here a, a sleep command in PHP just to have it uh, sleep for a couple of seconds. There's really no PHP here. It's just I needed, uh, I needed to grab that sleep command. So all we're really returning is the table uh, with a little bit of data in it. This is the first row, this is the second row, and a link with a class of edit record and a data ID on there of one and two. So what you saw there was the lo my little loader image. I'll refresh, running for two seconds, and then we get the results of my call to uh, list.php. If you look at the network traffic going back and forth, when I refresh the page, you can see the call to list.php. There's a delay there that we put in the code. And then this is the actual data that gets returned. That gets dropped into my list div tag. Now let's like make the modal actually do something. I want to pull up a modal dialog whenever I click this edit button. I've already got that code written. Let's go back up to my JavaScript. Now, I've got a document.on click for edit record, which if you look at list.php, that's the class that I gave my link. And it calls a function uh, with the event. The very first thing we do is prevent the default action of that link click. Uh, that's in case if we had a very long uh, listing here, uh, the browser wouldn't jump up to the top of the, um, the window. The next thing I do is I clear out the HTML in my modal body. I add the loader class to it, just like we did before with the listing, and then I show it. So I've added that loader to it. I'm then going to call post, which is a jQuery function to edit.php. I'm going to pass in the ID uh, of the attribute that they clicked on. So 
this references the actual link that they clicked. Uh, ATTR attribute is going to pull out the data ID attribute. If you look at the HTML here, I've got data ID set to one for the first one and two for the second one. So it's either going to pass in a one or two, depending on what they click. And then the function here with the response from the call uh, removes that loader class to hide our little loading image, and then it dumps the HTML that's returned back from the server into the modal body. So that's how the post function works. There's also some error handling uh, capabilities that I don't have in here. I'll show you in a later video, but this just assumes that our call will be successful. So let's take a look at edit.php, just a simple PHP script, which is going to say you posted and then the ID that we that we passed in. So let's take a look at how that actually works now. I'll refresh and I'll click edit on number one. I get up my uh, my edit record there saying you posted one. Let's go here. I'm going to grab my sleep code and I'm also going to dump it into my edit.php. Let's run that one more time. I'm going to click edit. You see my loader and then you posted one. If I click on two, my loader, you posted two. So I hope this uh, showed you a little bit about how to use jQuery's post and load functions along with bootstrap modal dialogues. Uh, you also saw some, uh, some data attributes in there. If this video helped you at all, please like, share, and uh, subscribe. Thanks.